Welcome! In this video tutorial, we want to show you how to go through a list of drop-downs and combine the options to scrape the results. Click on the New Project button and enter the URL that you would like to scrape. I want to scrape the School Report Cards website. Click on the Start Project on this URL. Parse it will load the website and it will start a project on the left side panel. Once you start a project, you are on the select mode and you can add any element that you would like to scrape from the website. As you can see, this website offers the different filters and drop-downs. I want to start with the academic year drop-down. Hover on the arrow to click on it and select it. Now I would like to open this drop-down. You can rename it to year. Click on the plus button next to the selection and choose the click command to click on the arrow. Now Parcel will load the drop-down and it will give you the configuration for this click. Since you want to continue executing, you can keep it as continue executing on the current template and stay on the current template. Now I would like to select these options on this drop-down. Click on the click command and hold shift to be able to add more commands nested under this click command. Click on the plus button once it appears and choose the select command. Select the first option on the year drop-down. The similar options will get highlighted in yellow. Click on the second one to select all the options for the year drop-down. You can rename it to year options. As you can see, Parsev created two other commands for you. One of them is the begin new entry command, which is extracting the options in a list, and the extract name, which is extracting the text on these options. Click on the plus button next to the begin new entry command to add a click command and choose one of these options. By adding the click command, Parsev will click on the first option on the dropdown and it will give you the configuration. As you can see, it is executing on the current template and you can stay on the current template. Now I would like to add the second drop-down, which is the state. Since you want to combine the options on the academic year with the states, you need to have this selection nested under the previous selection. Click on the plus button next to the begin new entry to add more selections nested under this scope. Click on the plus button and choose the select command. Now you can select this arrow next to the state drop-down. Click on it. You can rename it to state. Now I would like to open the drop-down options for state. Click on the plus button next to the selection and choose the click command to open it. Again, you can keep the configuration as continue executing on the current template. To add the options nested under this click, hold the shift key, choose the plus button and choose the select command. Select the first option. Now click on the second one to select all of them and you can rename it to state options. Since you want to click on each of these options one by one, you should click on the plus button next to the begin new entry command and choose the click command. Parser will give you the configuration and you can stay on the current template. I want to add the third dropdown as well. Click on the plus button next to the begin new entry command and choose the select command. Now select the arrow next to the district drop-down and click on it. You can rename it to district. Now click on the plus button next to the selection and choose the click command. Choose to continue on the current template. Click on the click command, hold shift and click on the plus button. Now choose the select command to select the drop-down options. Select the first one, click on the second one to select all the district options and rename it to district options. Now click on the plus button next to the begin new entry and choose the click command to click on each of these options and click on continue on the current template. I would like to combine the options on the first three drop-downs only, but if you wanted to continue and combine the options on the rest of the drop-downs as well, you could add them as nested commands similar to what we did for the first three drop-downs. 
Now I would like to execute the search and scrape the data. Click on the plus button next to the begin new entry command and choose the select command to select the search button. Select the search button and rename it to search. And now click on the plus button next to the selection to add a click command and execute the search. Choose the click command. Now website will load the results for the first options that we chose. Since you will get to the results page, I would like to create a new template for this and I will rename it to results. Now you can add the selections that you would like to scrape from this page. For example, I would like to start with the school code. I will click on it and I will click on the second one to select them. We can continue by adding more selections to this template. You can click on the plus button next to the begin new entry command and choose the relative select and select the school name. Now that you added the combinations of these drop downs on the main template, Parsec will go through each of these options on each of these drop downs and it will combine the options for all of them and it will scrape the results from this table. Now you can click on get data and test run the project or run the project on our servers. If you need help with your projects, feel free to email us at support.parsec.com. Happy parsing!